Hello children, in today's video we are going to see about the iron and steel industry under the chapter manufacturing industries. Let's get started. Industries that use minerals and metals as raw materials are called as a mineral based industry. We already learnt about the basic industry. Basic or key industry are those which supply their products as raw material to manufacture other goods. So the steel is used in the manufacture of variety of engineering goods, construction materials for defense, for medical, for telephonic, scientific equipments, consumer goods, everything. So naturally this production and consumption of steel, it is often regarded as the index of a country's development. Obviously because this is the basic industry, okay, and then uh, other industries, uh, the use of iron in other industries like the in automobiles, in locomotives, in shipbuilding and then in bridges, dams, everywhere we are using this. And then the employment, basic thing. So this iron and steel uh, industry, it provides the employment to all the workers uh, in terms of the skilled and unskilled, okay, even the mini steel plants it provides opportunity for the self-employment. So, it is the industry which paves the way for the country's development. Why this iron and steel industry is a heavy industry? Yes, of course, all the raw materials are heavy and bulky. That is the iron ore, coking coal, limestone, okay. All these are the major raw materials, okay. All these are very heavy. So, they are added in the ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 1. The next one is the transportation. This raw material itself is heavy. So, transportation cost of raw materials and the finished goods of the iron and steel industry are heavy and also it is costly. And also the efficient transport network is needed of its distribution. Now, we will see some of the major differences between the integrated steel plants and the mini steel plants. So, these integrated steel plants, it is a uh, large, mini steel plants are small. The integrated steel plants, they use the basic raw materials that is iron ore for making steel. But the mini steel plants use the steel scrap and the sponge iron. The sponge iron is nothing but the porous iron for making steel. An integrated steel plant uses a blast furnace, whereas the mini steel plants, they use the electric and induction furnace. And this integrated steel plant, they produce only steel, but here the mini steel plants, they produce mild and alloy steel of given specifications. And here they are uh, meet the domestic and international demands. That is, they are usually concentrated near the source of uh, raw materials and market and also uh, cater the domestic and international demands. But here they are decentralized. The mini steel plants, they are decentralized. That is, um, Units are scattered across the country to meet the local demands. Now, we will see about the iron and steel industries, why they are concentrated in and around Chotanagpur Plateau region. So, first and foremost, it is the low cost of iron ore. Here, the iron mines are located in the nearby areas. So, the cost of iron ore will be less. Next one, the high grade raw materials in close proximity. That is the bulky raw materials like the coking coal, limestone, they are available in proximity. Next one, that is the availability of cheap labor. That is in, from the adjoining areas of Bihar, uh, Jharkhand and Odisha, the cheap labor is available in abundance. The next one is the vast growth potential in the home market. Fifth point, the efficient transport network. So, this particular region, it is uh, well connected with roadways and railways, uh, which will uh, favor the movement of the raw materials and finished goods to the industry and the market areas respectively. The next point is the availability of power. So, this region has many thermal and idle power plants. So, the power supply will be adequate. And Kolkata, which is, uh, which is near to this area, it, it has a well uh, developed port. So, all these factors are responsible for the uh, concentration of iron and steel industry in and around Chotanagpur plateau region. 
So India, in spite of being an important producer of iron and steel, we are unable to give our full potential. That is because the high cost of production and the limited availability of the coking coal. And then the lower productivity of labor, irregular supply of energy, technological development. Here the technological development is very, very less. Resource allocation for research and development and production of steel is also comparatively less. So these are all the problems faced by the iron and steel industry. So yes, children, in this video, we saw about the iron and steel industry. In the next video, we will be seeing in detail about the aluminum uh, smelting, chemical industries and fertilizer industries in detail. Thank you, children.